Word on the street is you're having some trouble, pal. The word on the street is you're having some trouble beating these little Timmy Two Thumbs in Madden who just got the game for their 13th birthday. And they're sitting there with their dad and the whole fam's watching little Timmy Two Thumbs kick your <laughs> Meanwhile, you're at home alone in the dark and your tidy whitey's two inches from the monitor after you just spent $700 on your ultimate team. And you broke your controller. Now you and your girlfriend are fighting because she doesn't know why you're getting so mad at a game. Lucky for you, you clicked on this video. Lucky for you, I'm here to help. And I can promise you that'll never happen again. All right, my friend? Because today I'm teaching you the best offense in Madden 23, the Saints offense. Now, this isn't actually what I run. Uh, this is what everyone else and their mother runs online. All right? If you watch the MCS, every pro is running this type of scheme. If you go online and you play at a high level, every single player you run into is running this scheme. And so today, I'm not going to charge you for an ebook. I'm going to keep it concise. And then the second part of this video, which is going to be a bulk of it, is going to be live gameplay of me running this scheme and talking through what I'm looking for, how I'm using it, so you guys can see how to apply it online. The final game, I want to give you a little disclaimer, is maybe the best game you'll ever see in Madden. Let's just say someone was down 24-0. I'm not going to say who. I'll leave that up to your imagination. It was a money game against another YouTuber. His name is Will. I will leave his link in the comments if you want to check him out. Shout out to him for a good game. So to start, we got to talk about abilities and personnel because Madden 23 is a game of abilities, and if your abilities are not in the right place, your gameplay will suffer. All right? I already mentioned we're running the Saints playbook, and let's talk about some abilities. I'll talk about the ones that are necessary. All right? You do need an edge protector or a secure protector on both your tackles. I think that is mandatory this year. A lot of guys in the game get it for cheap. You don't need to have a God squad to get that. But at a minimum, you need edge protector or secure protector on both your tackles. All of your wide receivers should have some variation of route tech, short in elite, short out elite, something along those lines, all right? I personally like short in elite the best, but with all the discounts in the game, you can stack them at your leisure. Now, for this scheme, I think it becomes exponentially better when you have quad father. Because I have so many discounts, I can fit his X factor, which is the quad father X factor and persistent. You don't need to run persistent, but I think having quad father in this scheme just takes it to the next level because there is a running aspect to it that uh, really does make it incredibly hard to stop because if you're only passing, which I tend to pass a lot, I don't run the ball very much, you know, people can set up their pass defense in a way that might, you know, stop the most popular plays. But when you throw in some of the runs, it's really hard to have good pass defense and good run defense out of the same look. So quad father is... Something that I think is, if you can't afford it, is great. On your quarterback, you need set feet lead or pass lead lead, one of the two. I like hot route master. You don't absolutely need it, but I think at this point of the year, if you're playing mutt, you should have hot route master. Um, if you're playing online, you don't necessarily need it. And then I also use gunslinger and fearless on Tom Brady. Again, those aren't necessary, but... All right, now we're in practice mode. Let's get into the actual scheme. We're going to be focusing on two formations primarily. The first is tight offset tight end. You've probably ran into this online. This is not exactly the same as gun tight. Gun tight and tight offset look almost identical, but the play calling is a little bit different. Tight offset, if you go in, you're going to notice there's a few different run plays, and you don't have the play PA slot cross. PA slot cross, one of the best plays in the game, uh, but you, unfortunately, we don't have it in this playbook. But I think the runs you get are worth it. So tight offset is our primary formation. Realistically, you could just sit in this all game. You don't need to switch it up. But it's good to give your opponent different looks. And so the second formation we're going into is stack Y flex. All right, so I'll give you a few plays out of stack Y flex that you can audible to. It's good. There's a bomb in here. And uh, it's just good to give your opponents different looks in audible so you're not, they don't know what to expect every play. But let's start with tight offset tight end. Then we'll go into the gun stack formation. And then I'll show you a one play touchdown that beats any zone coverage uh, at the end of all that. So starting with tight offset, the first thing you want to do is get your audible set. So bench and PA shot seams, we love these plays. We keep them in there. Stick, we're going to change to Y out halfback swing. And then instead of inside zone, I, I prefer the 0-1 trap. All right, some other good plays in here. Uh, this Saints spot shake is a very good play for a quick throw. So on short yardage downs or inside the red zone. And then another good play is Saints in. Uh, other than that, I'm sure there's other good plays in here if you'd like to find them. But that's all I really run. And that's all you really need. Because with Hot Route Master and everything else, uh, you can get everything you need done. So let's get right into it. We're going to come out in, uh, in spot shake. Even though this isn't an audible, I just want to show you guys this. Before we start, you come to the line, you can just quick hike it and throw Carmichael against most coverage. Man coverage, 
You just you just quick throw that. I threw it a little bit late. One thing you want to be careful when you're throwing this is uh, if you press the button too early before the ball is in the quarterback's hand, he won't throw it. So you got to you gotta time it right. Um, you, could, you could throw it to the outside like that, or you can high pass it. I know a lot of people like to high pass this. And the reason this works so well is you see how quick he gets the ball on the high pass, and he's galloping already into his stride. The reason it works so well is it doesn't really matter the coverage, but the seam from the outside, MVS on that seam, is going to push off. All right, whether it's zone or man, he's going to push off the defender right there. So let's go for that again. Just quick high pass, just like that. All right. And then obviously you're going to have some space. Sometimes you'll break a tackle. But it's really good on short yardage. It's pretty good in the goal line. And then the other guys, you know, you can you can do whatever you want on the backside. But uh, we're mainly looking at that quick throw to the flat. That's all I really would run this play for. All right. Now let's get into some other ones. 0-1 trap. You can run this to either side. I've heard some people say it's better flipped. I haven't really noticed that. I don't really run... run uh, this scheme, so I wouldn't know. All right, another O lineman ran downfield, but 0-1 trap is the run out of this formation. This is my favorite run. This is one of the hardest runs to stop in the game. There's not much to be said other than do not accelerate until you are in the open field. When you accelerate and hold R2, defenders disengage their blocks much easier. All right, and that's not really a uh, an urban legend. That's not really a myth. That's something that I feel like everyone would agree on. So do not accelerate ever until you're in the open field. It's not going to give you that much better speed, and it's only going to hurt you. Why out halfback swing? This play is awesome because it's the cover three bomb, all right? And you're going to want to usually run this. Honestly, you could probably run this to either side. Um, but all you do is streak your tight end, and then this is the cover three bomb on its own. You can block your running back. You can put him on an option route. You can do whatever you want. Oftentimes, I'll send my running back. If he's not blitzing, I'll send my running back to the flats. If he is blitzing, I'm going to block my running back. All right? What I like to do is I'll just motion out MVS, sit here, try to pick up the pressure, and then circles the one that's going to get open. The reason this gets open is, against the cover three, is the corner out pulls the outside deep zone to the sideline. Let's show you what the play art looks like again. The corner out from Carmichael pulls the outside deep zone to the sideline, and the streak from Delaney Walker holds the inside safety in the middle. That's going to leave a nice pocket for A.J. Green to come. And pause. And if it's not open or you get pressured, you can always check down either your running back or the drag. So this is a good bomb play. This also works very, very nicely against cover two and cover two man. This uh, post from AJ Green is a great man beater. If you have short and elite, if you have route tech, that will beat man coverage if you have a good receiver. And so, again, any man coverage, cover three and cover two. It does not really work very well against cover four. You can still actually throw it underneath against cover four if you throw it, like, right here. But you got to make sure you click on and come back to the ball. Otherwise, you get picked off. That about covers it for wide halfback swing. You could you could hot route around and kind of freestyle if you don't want to run it like that every time. But that's pretty much the only way I run it. Uh, and then let's get into bench. All right? Bench, one of the best plays in the game because the out route and the corner routes on this play both do a very good job of beating man. And then we know this year corner routes are elite against zone. Now, one thing a lot of people don't realize is when you're running a flood concept of sorts, where you have, let's say, a streak and then a corner route, I know that's not necessarily a flood concept, but you have two routes kind of flooding the deep side of the field, you're going to want to run it to the short side, okay? When you run it to the wide side, outside deep zones don't have deep responsibility if there's a deep threat on the sideline. That might sound confusing, but let's say it was a cover three. The outside deep zone on the left is going to cover the corner, even if I have a streak right there, the outside deep zone on the left is going to play the corner, not the streak, because the inside deep zone is responsible for the streak to the wide side. On the short side, the outside deep zone is responsible for the streak. So that's going to leave your corner out wide open. So again, if you're running this type of concept where you get a streak in a corner, you're going to want to run to the short side. It's very hard to shop, stop to the short side. And uh, some other types of, uh, you know, Route combos you can add with this is maybe a drag and a curl. You could run, again, you could run it like double double corners and just see which if, if either of them gets open. Uh, you could also put your running back on a uh, on a curl route or an option route. Again, you can put your, you know, drag slant motion this guy out. That would be, if you want to block your running back, something like this. That would be good spacing on a route combo. But on bench, the primary thing we're looking at is the short side or the, the short side corner route. That's our primary read. Another way you can run bench, which I've seen people do, is if you were to motion over Delaney Walker, all right, and you turn this into almost a corner post uh, 
concept where you can throw either. And the reason this works so good is when you motion over the corner. So if we have Delaney Walker in his regular corner route, he's going to about the 15-yard line, the 16 maybe. When you motion it over, it gives him a lot more space, and you're going to see that gets a lot deeper now. So the streak from A.J. Green is going to push off all the deep zones, and then that post is going to be coming underneath from the wide side of the field. And it's just going to be a lot deeper. And then, of course, you also have the corner out on the other side. Now, like I said, I also do a lot of freestyling out of these plays. But I'm just giving you guys the nuts and bolts like concepts. And then based on what your opponent's doing, you can put other routes on the field to complement them. But again, the main thing we're looking at a bench is this short side uh, corner route. Bench is also very good in the red zone because the out routes, like I said, beat man coverage. And the corner routes, oftentimes, when they hit the back of the end zone, they will continue running along the back. And they won't just stop there. Uh, so, again, great red zone play. Just a great play all around, and you can do a lot of things with this play. The next play we're going to talk about, which is probably the best play in this entire playbook, and maybe the best play in the game is PA shot seams. PA shot seams. I, I saved this one for last year. PA shot seams is a play you could literally run every single down, and even high-level players sometimes wouldn't even be able to stop you. Cheers, baby. Um... But there's a few different ways you can run this. The most common one, probably the best, is if you put your outside wide receiver on a corner route. Now, that might look weird, all right? But you're going to have to trust me on that. And then A.J. Green, your outside wide receiver on the right, either on a drag or a slant. I kind of prefer a drag. All right, so what you're going to have here, if you motioned out A.J. Green a little bit and motion snapped it, you have the quick pop pass to your tight end in the soft spot. Or if the defenders... Jesus, I'm, I'm, go down, bro! If the defenders push off and cover that seam, then that drag will be open underneath. So, again, let's get this set up. Uh, so, as I said, your first read would be that right there in the, in the little soft spot before he gets to the safeties, but over the top of the linebackers. But, again, if the linebackers drop with him, then you're going to throw the drag underneath. Now, this is the, the, the weak side, all right? This is your, your back side. That's not really the best part of this play. The best part is the left side. Everybody runs man coverage online. And let's just say that corner route on the outside from MVS beats man. But the skinny corner from Carmichael absolutely shits on man. It is unbelievable how hard it is to cover this concept. Um, they're going to have to do a combination of man and zone if they want to shut this down consistently. And if they're doing that, then a lot of other things are going to open up. So when you have this play, it's already so hard to stop as it is that it makes everything else just a nightmare if you're mixing up your play calls a little bit. So again... When you're throwing this, you're always going to want to high pass the deep one, okay? People always online complain in my comments about why I high pass everything. But if you throw a deep ball and it's not high passed, quite often it is underthrown and will be intercepted. All right? So if they got a step on the man and you want them to catch it in stride like you just saw, you need to high pass it. Otherwise, it will be picked off. If I'm throwing the corner out, I am free forming it to the sideline. I am not high passing it. My free form would probably be at about... 10 o'clock. That's probably where I'm throwing that pass. All right. So you got to have a different type of pass based on where you're throwing it. And again, if I'm throwing that uh, Delaney Walker pass. And you could you could uh, cancel the play action if you want by blocking your running back. And that might make it quicker to throw something like that. All right. So when you hit him with that pop pass, they're going to have to put a lot of resources on the tight end, whether it's their user, whether it's manning it up. Because a lot of people run cover three and the seams are very weak in cover three. And then if they already have trouble stopping this backside stuff, the left side of the field is going to be an absolute nightmare, okay? So, again, you could run this play art right here over and over and over, and you will win 9 out of 10 games online, all right? Uh, like I said, this isn't the only way you can run this play. If we're going against a cover 2, let's say someone's running cover 2, I would flip the play to the point where you have this, like, mini wheel on the outside. And this is a cover 2 bomb, all right? You got two safeties, all right? You got Carmichael streaking down the middle. You're going to have a short wheel to the outside, which is going to get wide open on the sideline. That's your primary read. And you also got the skinny corner from Walker, which is going to get open on the right sideline. Now, again, you don't have any check downs here, so you might want to put your running back on like a flat route, an in route, something like that. But this is a great cover two bomb right here. Uh, just keep in mind. And, and this isn't something you need to memorize. Like, if you just think about it, like, naturally, there's two deep safeties. How do we... How do we, uh, you know, stress those two safeties? Have three deep zones hitting the farthest parts of the field. Spread out as much as you can. All right. Now, the, another way you can run this 
instead of having your outside wide receiver on a corner to the short side, you can put him on a streak here. And this, again, will beat most zone coverage. Oftentimes, will also beat man coverage. So you don't even need to really guess. Again, the route that we love is just that skinny corner. That That is just an unbelievable route. And then on the backside, you can freestyle however you want. Again, just drag, slant, motion him out. Great spacing on this play. Wait, wait, wait. Nothing's open. All right, you just throw that then. And, and like, this this formation is just amazing. All right? And then you're still going to want to throw in the 0-1 trap. And then the final play I'm going to show you is Saints in. Um, I've already mentioned the other plays, but this play is also another good one. This is a play when you streak your tight end right here. The A.J. Green post is going to get underneath deep zones. So the tight end, Delaney Walker, will push off deep zones. If you were to put Carmichael on a corner route or... Uh, the other guy in a corner route, something like this. Like, if this is what your player looked like as well. This would also bomb cover three, just like our other play did. Uh, very similar concept, but you don't need to do that. Um, this is probably how I would typically run this. I would maybe put him on a corner route instead of an out route. Out route's fine. And then I would probably motion out MVS. And again, the primary read we're looking for is right there. All right, again, that, that streak is going to push off the safeties. And then the post is going to come in underneath it. Uh, if they run back there with their user because that post beats man coverage, that post beats zone coverage behind all zones, then that's when you have the underneath routes, right? That's why that drag is there underneath. They have to make a choice. Do they cover the drag or cover the post? If they take the post, just throw the drag. And then if they run on the drag or stay down low with the other routes, you throw the post. Uh, and that's pretty much the only way I like to run that play. And the final thing before we move on, do not forget the 0-1 trap. I know I briefly touched on it. 0-1 trap, inside zone, counter, those three runs you should be running. These runs make this scheme hell, especially if you got quad father, so do not forget to jam it down their throat. And once you take a lead, don't be, don't be shy to just, you know, pound the 0-1 trap, pound the inside zone. If they're only rushing three, hit them with the counter. Counters are really good against man coverage as well. But that just about does it for tight offset. Now I'm going to talk to you about our next formation. I'll just go over it briefly. is gun stack Y-flex. I'm not even going to touch the audibles here. The base audibles, I'm just going to leave because I don't really even run that this much. But the two plays we really like are fade out and PA read. I'll start with fade out. Uh, when you look at the left side of the field here, it looks really weird because those guys are stacked. And how do those routes interact with each other? Uh, on this play, you're just going to quick throw square, free formed inside like this. And for some reason, the way the man coverage plays it, it's like they, they start trailing behind them. And then if you catch it in a stride like that, uh, they'll be off to the races and oftentimes get a much bigger gain than you probably deserved. Uh, but be careful spamming this play because if they catch on, it's very easy to, you know, you're kind of almost assuming that you can just throw that. You're going to be able to tell right when you snap it. Is the user over there or not? Is there a curl flat or a zone right there or not? If there's not, just throw it. And uh, you got to get the timing because if you wait too long, it will be intercepted. All right, so make sure you throw that on. Right after they cut up field, you're going to free forward inside. Now, on the back side, I put uh, Delaney Walker on a post. I like the hot-routed post better than the one that they have in there. I put A.J. Green on an out route, and I'll put my running back on a wheel route. So this gives you a nice uh, concept on the right side where if they're in some type of zone with no vert hook right there, you can definitely throw that running back. And then if they overcommit to the left side, with that quick in route, you have the backside post to Delaney Walker. All right. So you just got to make a read. And that's uh, that's how I like to run fade out. Uh, the other play is called PA read. This, oh, wrong uh, formation. But the PA read play out of this formation is a bomb. You got to have the right personnel for this in order to make it work. Um, all you got to do is streak triangle. This should bomb cover four. And then, again, you can do a similar concept where you just do something like this on the backside. Again, not super necessary, but uh, if that's what you're into, that's what you're into. You might want a slant walker. You know, I think a slant might work better here. Um, but, again, you just hike the ball. Got to get the time. Wait, wait, wait. And you're going to put that one in the back of the end zone. And uh, it bombs cover four. You just got to have the right personnel. If they have really good safeties, sometimes the safeties can get back there. So just be careful with that. Uh, and that's really all I run out of stack. I wouldn't say stack is my favorite formation. It's just good to mix it up. The Z spot is also solid. If you run it to the wide side and you put a uh, square on a streak, that corner route is so deep it will get overall zone drops. So if they're in zone coverage, and again, you could run the exact same thing on the backside. Uh, just a concept like that or a slant, something like that. And uh, like I said, if you're looking at triangle, 
This is going to get over the top of 30s. This is going to get, you know, be very, it's going to be a nightmare for zone coverage to try to stop this. It's so deep that I wouldn't really recommend th throwing that against man coverage. Now, the last play I want to show you is coming out of empty Y Saint, and this is a bomb play against pretty much any zone coverage. The play is called Saints Corner. Uh, and again, this is just good to have in your back pocket in case you need it. With all the deep zone KOs in the game right now, this isn't necessarily a gimme. I would say more often than not, if they have deep out zone KO, you're not going to be able to get this because even though they have a step, even though they get hands on the ball, it just gets hit loose after they take a couple steps. So AJ Green is the one you're looking for. I'm going to reset the play here. This is what your play looks like stock. All you want to do is streak your outside running back, motion him in, and then the backside routes, you can do whatever you want with. Uh, I would personally probably do something like this. Maybe something like that. All right, you got Carmichael on that outside fade who against man press oftentimes will win. AJ Green is the one we're looking for, though, against zone coverage. For some reason, the outside zones just don't run right with this route. And you can just wait, throw it up, and uh, if you get that type of animation, oftentimes you will have a touchdown. So that does it for the entire scheme, boys. I went very fast. I wanted to keep that as concise and to the point as possible. But that is a top-tier offense. If you are running this to perfection and uh, you're making the right reads, it's going to be tough for anybody to get a, get a stop on you, even at the highest level. So with that said, let's hop to some gameplay and put it to the test. First game, we're going against Rel Goaded. He's going to get a full taste of the Saints playbook. So first and 10, my opponent in what looks like something like Trips tight end. Um, it's all about the offense, though, right? We're running our regular dollar defense. We're just going to get a stop and hopefully come out and get the ball in the offense's hands. All right, second and 10. Running some man coverage here. He throws it up into double coverage, and that's got to be a pick. All right, Kirby Joseph. There we go, baby. And now we get to see this offense. Come on, baby. Girl, we are starting with the glorious, beautiful, just PA shot seams. I don't even give a shit. We're just looking for the corner out. This play is so hard to stop, and it is the most brain-dead thing ever. You could just run this over and over again. Like, I could run PA shot seams, and just, that's my whole offense, and I would still succeed. And in my opinion, what makes this formation even harder to stop is the run game right here. We got our guy Quadfather, who's going to wear you down, right? You don't know whether to stop PA shot seams or Quadfather. I'm going to try to bomb him now. I don't know if this is going to work. This is a cover three bomb. It might work against match or whatever he's running. Doesn't look like it, but I'm going to throw it up because we've got Delaney Walker one-on-one. -on -one. Whew. Probably a little bit too risky. All right, so the corner out to the short side of the field is our primary read. Um, this is going to be match coverage, so I'm not really sure what to expect in terms of who's going to be on who. But we're going to have our drag. And it's going to be dropped by Jeremy Shockey. Why is Jeremy Shockey on the field? I don't know. I really don't know. But two dropped passes on the opening drive hurts. Fourth and nine. I don't know what the hell this is. Going to go to a corner route, I bet. Can't pick up the blitz. This guy's got to start blocking his running back. I don't know what he's doing out here. Back on offense. Let's not drop any passes this time, please. Please. All right. I think he's going to start blitzing here, so we're going to start blocking our running back every time. There we go. That should be a dot. There we go, AJ. You're not going to drop that one, are you? And that's what we were looking for last time. Once we finally had a little time in the pocket, we had a guy wide open. It was cover two man, so both those safeties split. And uh, A.J. Green just toasted his man coverage. All right, defense has been killing it so far. Not really too worried about what this guy's going to be doing on offense. I feel like we got everything just... Mel Blunt! I spoke too soon, Mel. I'm sorry. I'm going to start backing him off. I don't I don't trust him after that. that I'm not going to lie. He looked like he was beat. He barely got there. Uh, Tyree Kill on the outside is the one who beat him. 97 speed. No surprises. And there's another pick. I'm just going to go down. I want to see the offense. We're going to try to get in this stack formation, right? We already know tight offset. We just dominated on the last drive. Let's let's start getting in uh, in in, in uh, stack. Never mind. We'll see stack in the next game. Bustos Gombrezi. This man is in my chat right now. Somehow I don't think this was a coincidence, Bustos. Uh, but I'm going to bust. I'm not even going to finish that sentence. I'm not going to finish it. But I have to try out this quick throw to square. Everyone's saying it's the best in the game. He was all over it. He was ready. He just sat here watching us d dial up this scheme. But it worked, I guess. Six yards. I think he's going to run right over there with his user. Nope. Okay. So this is what everyone's talking about.
everyone keeps saying you can quick throw this square out. I did not believe that this was going to work online. And it seems like it's going to work online, as much as I hate to say it. Looks like he's going to cover three now. I think we're just going to do the same thing. I don't know. I, I think people are saying you can just throw this against anything. He's going to user it, so we're going to throw the post. Never mind. Never mind. We're not going to throw anything. Tom Brady's going to run. I, again, you got to watch their user, right? Because if their user is ready for you to quick throw that, they're just going to run over there every time. So we got to have something prepared for if his user leaves that area, which I think he will, and we're going to put our running back on a streak, all right? Quadfather's got hands, apparently. Still on steroids. Uh, but yeah, this is just a, a glitchy little formation. I'm not really a fan of this. I think, it's a, I think it's something good to audible to. I, this isn't something I would want to operate out of primarily. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to quick throw one of these uh, one of these seams. That's what we're going to go for right now. There it is. Delaney Walker. And again, against cover three, you know the seams are weak. There's one high safety, so it's either going to be Delaney Walker or the guy on the left. Beautiful dot. All right, and my opponent looks like he is also in tight. I, I, I'm in tight offset, so it's not going to be the exact same formation, but similar. I don't think he has the same runs as me, but tight is just as good. Not much open there, though. Little, everything was a little too deep. But I am prepared for the run. Wouldn't be surprised if he... Nope, no run there. There's a PA slot cross. Shout out to Aaron Donald not letting that develop. Defense doing their job yet again. And yeah, my, my main goal here is I want to test out this offense. So right now, we're 100% completion on offense. Got to be picked, right? No. Fourth and 20. Blaze it, baby. And he is going for it. Wow. Bold move. We did not get on our user, but he threw it. And we get the pick with Mean Joe. We're going to audible this time. And this is, this is where I think you should use the stack. Is if you audible over to stack. Right? Keep them on their toes a little bit. And I'm not really sure if I have any other reads. Except for the quick throw to square. And did not even look open right there. Got a lot of time. Not enough time, apparently. Alright. A little more space now. All right, looks like he was in cover two man last time. I assume it's going to be the same. And we're going to go right back to that post. There is A.J. Green. And that is an inter should have been an interception for sure. Maybe got a high ball that next time. We're going for it. Fourth and 25. All right, I'm not sure what to expect here at all. But we are going to be looking uh, to the left side first. If it's not there, he's user rushing us. Got to be a catch, right, Harold? There we are. Fourth and 25, it don't matter. Okay, you see man coverage, that skinny post is going to be open. Not the smartest decision to go for it on 4th and 25, but again, no man coverage is sticking with that route. And then the other guy just obviously is on his man, so he's not going to play it either. And the cool thing about this formation too, anytime, anytime you're up like this, you, you have the run game. I got quad father, like look at this. It's frustrating because that solid run defense, like he did a good job. But we're just going to fall forward for four every time. Like, it's just it's just automatic. I'm also going to be running a corner route to the short side of the field. And I think Harold Carmichael is going to get another touchdown. There we are, boys. That was bench, right? And as I told you, short side of the field, you want the streak to push off the deep zone. And the corner just got right behind the flat. All right, my opponent is in the exact same offense as me. And he's running the same uh, X factor on his running back as me. And this is going to be a problem, all right? Uh, this is why this formation is so hard to stop. So not only are we going to get to see this formation on the offensive side of the ball, but we're going to go against it on defense as well. And we're going to see if this guy can run it better than me. He might be able to. And if, if he keeps running the ball, which looks like he might, we're going to have to start uh, blitzing our slot corners. And, and that's why it's so frustrating, right? That was good run defense. I hit the running back with my user for a very, like, right there, and he still got 10 yards. He's going to run the ball again, I feel like. Nope, no run. And there's our flat zone KO. Beautiful, man. 13 inches. I'm fully expecting a run here. Bring our safeties down. Didn't get, didn't get us on the quick hike this time, brother. And we're all over that. We should be at least. Thank you. Rodney Harrison. That was a linebacker. He's actually a safety. But he is in... He, oh, shit. Get out of there, Rodney. Oh, my God. That was almost so sexy. All right, Rodney Harrison was very close to the line of scrimmage in the inside third. And he ran all the way downfield with that route. Very impressed with that. Looks like my opponent is in a cover three. If it's not cover three, it's man coverage. Either way, we should have something open here. Step up in the pocket and hit circle, baby. That's a dot. And I told you, we can beat cover three. We got the cover three bomb on deck. It's in our audibles. 
We see the single high safety with zone alignment. We dot it. Back to the run game, I assume. No play action. We got Tyree Kill manned up. All right, manned up with an inside third. You can't be throwing that either. Look at PS2 coming down with it. You tell, I think, after that first drive, you got a little desperate. And that's going to do it. Hamtaro. Uzupapi. I like it, man. My hamster, when I was a child, was named Hamtaro. And he died. All right, gun trio offset. No surprises there. Probably going to be an inside zone on the first play. And that's... Ex oh, shit. He tried to throw the RPO and Mel Blunt, I'm telling you. Someone, yo, someone wronged Mel Blunt before we started playing today. Because this dude, this dude's insane. Okay, so we're going to be running bench to the short side uh, with that streak. If it's a cover two or a cover three, that should be open. And then we're also going to be looking at Carmichael over the middle if there's no one right over the top of him. Yeah, not a fan of any of those routes, honestly. You only rush three. Take off, Brady. We'll get a few with we'll get a few with Brady. They gave him speed for a reason. All right, we're gonna be going for a similar concept here. I had a feeling. There we go. What a throw from Tom, man. It looked like that outside corner was gonna be in a flat. And so I knew if we just waited, we can get him in the back of the end zone. And we were correct. Again, this time I uh smart routed my corner route to make it break earlier, and that way it got his alignment closer to that back corner. All right, he switches formation into like a gun split look. Might be, uh, yeah, the other thing, like another, like, RPO-type play. Guy seems to be running a lot of, like, candy cane-type stuff. I'm not sure if he has, like, a dedicated scheme out of this, or he's just calling random stuff. All right, fourth and 20. Only blitz in one. Cover three shell. Got that left side guy manned up in case he comes on a backside post. I'm going to be helping mainly on the right side. I'm going to let that go underneath. I don't know why he ran that. He's not picking up the blitz very well. Easy. And we get another, okay. All right. No offense this game, I guess. On to the next one. Throw a dot. We're playing throw a dot. All right. If this man throws a dot, I will say his name is valid. He's got 99 Tom, 99 Pickens, 99 AJ Green. Great team. All right. Let's see if he can throw a dot. Don't forget to talk about reading the defense. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. My opponent, tight off set. The one thing I'm happy to see, despite him running the same offense as us, is I'm happy to see he does not have quad father because he can't do that to quad father. All right. If he runs it without that ability, we can clean his clock. But Warwick Dunn's gonna have a long day if he's gonna use him like quad. Oh, he, dude, he's running. Okay, is this somebody in the? This got to be someone in the chat. This is definitely someone in the chat. They are running the exact same thing we are. Audibling from tight. What are you doing? What's Cromwell doing? I thought he was gonna come up and lay the lumber. Uh oh, I don't like this at all. It's not letting me man up the tight end. I'm following him though. Not today, son. That's PS2. Not today. All right. So he's in Saints playbook as well. Running very similar stuff to us. Are right, running a cover four shell that... Oh, over the middle is wide open. He Oh, never mind. He threw it to the flats. Again, that pressure probably spooked him out a little bit. But he had his running back, I believe, wide open over the middle. Shout out to our man, Darrell Revis, in the flats. Might be covered. This is either cover two man or it is a, uh, a cover four. He's only sending four. Oh, my God. Okay. Sometimes the four-man blitzes, if they get this weird uh, animation with your tackle on the outside where they push him in, it, it causes a lot of problems. All right, so he's running uh, match coverage. I don't actually know if this right here is going to be a match beater, but we're going to find out really quick. I think it is. Yep, 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 yep. Please be a good throw. Thank you. And there we go, boys. That same play. Beats cover three, beats match. I love... Oh, that was cover two. It was a match. That makes a lot of sense why that was so open. Now, this guy actually has a pretty good offense. I think he just made a mistake on that on that opening drive. I don't think he's a bad offensive player. That's a good dot. But not good enough. Holy shit, Cromwell. Uh, so that play, we actually have in our arsenal as well. He needs to streak his tight end. That's going to be GG's. He needs to streak his tight end, and that will get under the safety. Because the streak will push off that safety. So it would have been a good dot. Just one hot route away. Abilities make the world of a difference. A lot of people feel like, I feel like, don't understand that. Like, if you don't have the right abilities, you are at such a disadvantage. You're playing against superheroes. All right, Mickey Maine is our next op. He's got Tom Brady, Ray Lewis, and Junior Seau. Two linebackers with Lurker. I'm going to be interested to see what formation he's running. But I would assume we're not going to be able to run the ball very well if he's got linebackers on the field. All righty then, another opponent with tight offset, same as us, and no quad father. I'm not going to lie, tight offset is legitimately so much better with quad father. 
I'm so happy to not have to go against Quadfather. I mean, no running back compares to that X Factor. Good dot for my opponent. We're going to start bringing our safeties down. And there's the run. That's what we've been waiting on. All right. And see how much easier it is to tackle Bettis? Like, I'm not worried. Like, if that was Quadfather, he probably breaks that and gets another 15. Going to bring these safeties down because he wants to hit these seams. I know he does. All right. We are not going to blitz. He's not. He doesn't have a, a tight end on the line. He runs the ball on third and nine. Thank God that we got around that block. All right, fourth and five. Interested to see if he takes a three. He does not. I have no idea how we did not. Oh, he's got the running back wide open. Yep, good dot, good dot, good dot. I overran that. I thought he was going to the flat. Good dot, man. I feel like on that fourth down, we should have got the stop, though. Uh, but now the offense is going to get tested. All right, this looks like this might be a cover four. I'm not really sure what to expect, but we're just going to run something that uh, will get open probably no matter what. All right. No play action. Only a three-man pass rush. Little high pass there. Hold on to it. Oh, my God. That should have been picked off. Great user by him to go run to that route. All right, he's going to cover four. All righty, then. He's going to cover four. We're going to test his bomb. I think he has deep out zone K over there, so it probably won't work. But we're going to give it a try. We're just going to see what happens. All right, we're looking at Carmichael here. If we can just get some time here. That looks like he's open. Overthrown from Brady. I think deep out zone is going to hit that loose anyway, so let's let's go back to something a little bit more consistent. All right, we're going to be looking at A.J. Green over the middle. He's probably still in a cover four, so the goal here, Delaney Walker is going to push off the safety. His user is going to bite down on the drag. He did not bite down on the drag. And thankfully, we got the first. Tell me we got the first. Thank you, MVS, for being shifty. He, he, yeah, he's been in nothing but cover four. All right, so we're, we're going to hit the sideline here. What a dot, man. What a dot. When you get that animation on the sideline where they tap their toes and get right out of bounds, it makes it so the zone KOs can't hit them. So that's a perfect animation. So again, we got cover four. I have heard that stack PA Reed beats cover four over the top. I am not certain, but we're damn sure going to give it a try, all right? And, and, it, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But we're looking at square. He's there, bro. Get those feet in, too. Oh, man, he, he's almost there. I think if we have a little more space and we let that thing fly a little bit longer, uh, that's going to work. Uh, we're going to be looking at either Carmichael or our drag. I think the drag's going to be there. Got to get a few yards to make it a third and short. And then I'm going to hurry to the line, and you know what I'm doing? I don't normally do this. We're going right to the run game, all right? He does have uh, some D-line abilities, but we're just going to hurry up and do it. We're just going to hurry up and do it. We got Quadfather, man. We got Quadfather, man. I'm telling you, I don't run the ball a whole lot, but this shit is like OP. All right, when you have this type of scheme with this type of run game and the abilities, it's so hard to stop. I mean, the whole reason that worked was because of the ability. Like, we had some nice space, but the broken tackle right there gave us like a speed boost almost. Like, no other running back does that. Clock is still being chewed. We're in a man coverage look with a cover three shell. And uh, the running back on an angle route, I got to watch myself. That should have been a pick. I mean, I'm right under that. If that's a good throw, if that's anywhere close to a good throw, that's a pick. All right, no flats on the right right now. We got to get this. All right, there we go. Second and five. All right, wouldn't be surprised to see a run here. There it is. Good run stick by him. All right, we got to stop this run game. I got to start pinching my line every time. All right, so PS2 on the outside does not have flat zone KO. I do have flat zone KO on the left. I don't know why I did not keep running with that. I thought there was going to be a post on the backside. He's getting killed, man. He's got to cough the ball up one of these times. We're going to switch it to uh, to bench here on the short side here. Get those feet in, please. Did he get the feet in? Yes, he did. 20-yard gain, man. Again, corner routes to the short side are money. I'm going to try out that uh, that bomb again. All right, we're going back to ye old bomb, all right? I do not know if, uh, if this is for sure going to work. He's backing off his guys. I don't know if you heard me say that or what. We're looking for the, we're looking for the post. I'm throwing it. Get the ball there, Brady. Get the ball there. Oh, my God. It looks like it's so close to being caught. So close. Maybe just a different animation. The person I'm really trying to hit, though, is AJ Green on this post. I want his user to play down low. There it is. There it is. That's what I was looking for. His user was kind of running with that, though, so I couldn't throw it on the last time. But that's just money right there. All right, we're going to the sideline again. Carmichael's who we're looking for. If he's not there, we'll hit one of our checkdowns. But, uh... It's making it pretty simple, the fact this guy's running like the exact same defense every time. Like, straight up just stock cover four. 
Uh oh, I don't like that. But Carmichael loves it. My God, that was not a good read. I don't know why the, uh, I don't know why that deep zone stayed on Carmichael right there. All right, we are looking for triangle here. Never mind. Back the end zone. MVS high pass. I did not think that uh, 52 would jump for that, even though he has lurker. Ray Lewis just wasn't gonna get up. Second and 14. I'm going with. I'm going with. Okay, we gotta get that. We gotta get that, Joseph. Thank you. Hey, we're gonna pitch it here. You know what? I'm going out of bounds. I'm going out of bounds. All right. I, I could go get a pick six to win this game, but it, I want to show off the offense. I want the offense to be the thing that works here, not the defense. So my opponent has switched to man coverage. I don't think that's necessarily a good idea. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to motion block, and we're going to try to hit A.J. Green on the post because I'm pretty sure that post is going to shred his man. All right, so pick up the block. It did not. Uh, it was not man coverage. Oh, baby. Don't fumble now, Carmichael. Hey, you get shifty out there, but don't you fumble. So he's in a man coverage look. However, for some reason, uh, he's audibling the zone. All right, so I'm going to block my running back again. I'm assuming, again, he's blitzing everyone. We're throwing that up, man. I think we got him. AJ Green, come down with it, buddy. AJ Green is a god. I know he's got deep out zone KO over there, so that probably should have been hit loose. But, boys, that's how you close out a game, man. And that's how you win in the Saints playbook. All right, here we go, man. Certified Will. He's got Harold, Rob Gronk, and Matty Ice. You know who we got. Same old goons, same old scheme. Let's win some money, baby. Okay, we're just going to leave our defense the way it is. Straight zone coverage. A lot of audibles on the field. Uh, I'll be prepared for that next time. Okay. All right. Quick wheel to the, to the sideline. All right. We, we know he's going to this one play bomb. All right. And it looks like it is there, but we have... Oh, deep out zone KO. Come on. All right. All right. That uh, deep third over the top did not play that. We're going to have to be ready for that all game. Ooh, a lot of audibles. A lot of audibles. You know I hate audibling, man. This is going to be a slow game. I know it's going to be a slow game. I don't like when I play people audible, and I don't like audibling too much myself. I'm impatient. All right, good run, man. Good drive for him. We give up seven on the opening drive. Big chunk of the yardage came on that one play bomb, um, but we're going to have to be ready for that. Every time he motions in from empty, we're going to be ready for it. Uh, he's in 3-3-5 three, three, wide, or I don't think it's called 3-3-3-3 three, 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 three cub this year. And this is one of the best plays in this playbook. Only a three-man pass rush. And Tom Brady get the pass off. I had the receiver I wanted. Not good pocket by me either. If he blitzes five, we're going to have to get the pass off quick. Only blitz three again. We'll throw that. Check it down a little bit. All right, you know, would have liked some yards after the catch. Third and 14 is manageable, though. Okay, we didn't get our play the way we wanted. He has no deep route KO on the right side, so that's where we're going. There we go, man. Delaney Walker. Big conversion right there. We were in a little bit of a hole. Uh, but that's the side we're going to start targeting, right? When we see no deep route KO, that's where we want to throw at. We're also going to be looking at uh, Carmichael in the seam. And again, no deep route KO. We can throw that all day. We're going to keep throwing that. He's got to figure out how to stop this uh, on that right side. You need deep route KO or deep zone KO. Over corrects now. No, he's sending a little bit of a blitz. Where are you at, AJ Green? No. Overthrown, man. I shouldn't have free-formed it. That's on me. He was open. That should have been a touchdown. All right, we're blitzing off the left side here. What the hell is this? Why Why did that just happen? I mean, that's annoying. Did you guys just see my safety? I don't know what, what why that motion did that. That's f***ing frustrating. I mean, my safety, my safety is manned up on the solo receiver. And once he motions out that guy, he just runs over there. That must just be how, like, maybe the man alignment there messed up or something. I don't know. This is probably a cover one, but just in case it's a cover three. Oh, we're not going to have the time. Oh, man, that's bad. That's bad. Yo, that's bad. That was bad. That was it. And we fumbled. I mean, and we fumbled. All right, third and goal. Set it. Oh, no. Ha oh, thank God. Yo, flat zone KO saved our ass. He's in a curl flat or a hard flat. That was almost unbelievably bad. Okay. We're just we're just sending it, man. We're just sending it, man. I feel like we had him. I feel like we throw that. Dude, I think we have him on that. I really think we do. How in the world does that not get open? Alrighty. 
Offense just not looking good. Uh-oh, he's going to throw that quick wheel to Plaxico. I know that's where he's going. I know that's where he's going. Who was that? How? How does no one play that? That's so tough. That's so tough. Man, we're down so bad right now. Dot, baby. Let's get the two-point. I don't have any two-point plays in this playbook, but we're going to get it. Did he really run commit? That looked like a run commit. I couldn't tell if it was. All right, it's two-possession game, though. All right? 133 still left in the first half. We're getting the ball in the second half. Crazier things have happened. I got to lock in here. Third down is where we've given it up every time. It's always third down. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Tan. Way to make a play, bro. 119 on the clock. Does he punt it from the 25? Does he punt it? No, he's going for it. I can't show my player just in case he's watching. But this is a huge down. I mean, this is, this is a game-changing down right here. Oh, I got bumped. Oh, my God. I tried to peel back that, but I got bumped on the other receiver. That's so annoying. God damn it, bro. I don't want Mel Blunt to get beat deep. That's it. There we go. Revis, come on, baby. Get out there. Get out there. Get out there. You're fast. Oh, not fast enough. All right. We can make this a one possession game with 37 seconds. We can do it. All right. No pressure coming in. Come on. Get off. Get off. Don't, don't go. No. No. Yo, last time he fumbled in that situation. I swear to God, I got flashbacks. I thought he was about to fumble again. Look at Delaney Walker fight for us, man. Who is this guy, Delaney Walker? He needs to be paid more. Had a lot of time in the pocket. And we just waited for Delaney to bounce off the back line and took a chance. All right, I don't really know what I'm doing here. But apparently he does. Because he ran right where I wanted to throw it. He ran right to that fade out route. His user was all over. But hey, back in the end zone. It's an eight-point game. And we're getting the ball back in the second half. It is a one-possession ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get a little time in the pocket, huh? Let's get a little time in the pocket, huh? And maybe AJ Green will get wide open for us, baby. Don't get ran down, AJ. How do you get ran down at the one? AJ Green, how does that happen? Beautiful work from our O-line. I'm not even going to cap, guys. The O-line has been the biggest difference for us. Like, legitimately. Holy sh**. I almost threw a pick. I just threw it to AJ Green, hoping he would get open. He did. Very lucky. Very lucky. Nothing's open. But Tom Brady's open. That man's got wheels. We're all tied up, boys. I mean, man, I was afraid we were going to get sacked. Thank God he only rushed three. Right? Very risky run, too. Hey, one more stop. This is a very interesting play call from us. Not something we've really ran before, and he gets the dot. Good dot. Good dot. All right, third and ten, boys. All right, everybody on the right side that's manned up needs to do their job. Really, that's it. If you're manned up, do your job. I'm on the running back. Do your job. Do your job. We did our job. Hey, 24 unanswered, and now we got the ball again. All the momentum in the world. No fumbles, no fumbles. And again, this Omaha is helping out a lot. Omaha is helping out quite a bit. Maybe Jukins. Oh, don't fumble. <laughs> don't fumble. We're, we're taking a shot here, man. Delaney Walker, we're looking for you. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, Carmichael dropped it. Thought that was going to be a hot one. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a cover too. All right, I think it's going to be a three-man pass rush. Again, we are... Going for the going for gold here. There it is. That's what we're looking for. Come down with it, AJ. Come down with it. Yo, AJ Green's the best. AJ Green is literally the best. He might be on steroids, all right? But I'm not complaining. He's on our team. It was a cover two. We were correct. We're going to block our running back here again. We're primarily looking at the short side. Looking at the short side, it's going to be there. There's Delaney. And we're in the end zone again, baby. Hey, seven-point lead. I cannot believe this. Everybody thought we were down and out. I'm feeling so good. All right, third and 16 here. We're going to be playing the sticks with everybody and sending the blitz off the right side as usual. Shouldn't have said that out loud because now he knows what my game plan is. All right, you know what? Instead of what I just said we were going to do, we're going to do something else. What that something else is, is a blitz. And we got to be there. I, yo, Cromwell, do you not have mid zone? 
I spend so many coins on Cromwell, and he never comes up and makes the plays right there. Kirby Joseph, he makes those plays. All right, second and inches. Wouldn't be surprised to see an inside zone call right here. We're playing all of our zone drops at the sticks, which means everything is going to be playing hard. My flats are going to be extra hard. You got to be there, Mel Blunt. You got deep out zone, don't you? Hell yeah, you do. I don't like this one bit. I don't like this in the slightest. He's going to throw the quick, quick wheel route. Yeah, I knew that was coming, man. I knew that was coming. Yeah, I can't shade down there either. You're there. Yo, PS2 is the best. I I'm sorry, guys. He's just the best. It's really that simple. Both times, he's in position to make a play. Not only does he finish the play, he gets the pick. Just unbelievable. Out jumps him, too. That guy's 6'5". All right, honestly, first read is going to be this out route on the right side. AJ Green. Yes. Yes, you win on those. Yes, AJ. Yes. Yes. This looks to me like a cover two. The way he moved his safeties out, he touched his safeties and spread them, which makes me think it's 100% a cover two. So what makes me think uh, this play is going to be perfect is we're going to have a guy down the seam and then a guy down the sideline later. And he drops it. You know, it's fourth and seven. I'm going for this. I'm not the game's. I'm not punting this, right? I'm going for this. Don't get tackled. Don't get tackled. Oh, we got tackled. I thought he was going to keep his momentum and outrun him. Good user. Good play. Good play. I got spooked by the pressure. Got to lock up again. He's going to throw the wheel. There it is. PS2. Yet again. Patrick Sertan going crazy. Third and 13. I'd be surprised if he ran it. All right. We're blitzing off that, that side on the right. We're using over the middle. Oh, man. Thank you. All right. Fourth down. Fourth down. I'm going to call timeout. I'm going to call timeout. This is for the game. Not really, but kind of. All right, very interesting play here. I'm actually thinking about backing off Mel Blunt, but I don't think I'm going to. He's got, he's got Harold Carmichael out there, so he's got speed. But I think Mel Blunt, because he has deep out zone, should be able to handle that. I feel like I'm running with that, but I'm not. I feel like I'm running with it, but I'm not. And he's in the end zone. All right, we got a minute left. I tried to run with Gronk. I just wasn't fast enough. Couldn't change direction fast enough. Man, dude, I saw it coming. I was just a step behind him. Ah, oh, we almost had it, bro. We almost had it. All right. First read here is going to be that out route. Or not. Or not, dude. I swear to God. That was a four-man pass rush. There's no way. Break the tackle one time. How do you overthrow that? Bro, I'm almost punting it to him in field goal range. Like, this is actually kind of wild. Fuck, man. I suck so bad. All right, we're going to overtime, boys. After all that, we're headed to OT. You hate to see it. You absolutely hate to see it. I got shut out in the first and fourth quarter. He's not running it. We got two guys there. One of you, one of you pick it off. One of you pick, one of you pick it off. Come on. Good dot, man. Good dot. Good dot. Good dot. Good dot. Good dot. Oh, oh! I thought he, I thought he threw it up. I think that was a throwaway. I thought he just lobbed something up. Come on, boys! Come on, boys! There we go. Fourth down. Fourth down. Interesting to see if he kicks his three. All right, it's all up to the offense, man. It's all up to the offense. Got to go get seven. We'll take nothing less than seven. There it is. Quadfather, you better not fumble on me. You better not fumble on me, Quadfather. We'll take a few extra yards, too. Good shit, baby. All right, AJ. Get a few extra. Keep it going, baby. Keep it going. All right. You see what he just did? I know we all saw that. Move the safeties out. I don't know if this is going to work, especially because he might blitz. All right? But I know what I want. And we just need to pick up the pressure. Yeah, he manned up that guy on the outside. He manned him up. It's a man blitz. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, that was it. That was the dot we needed. That was it right there. That might be game. Hold on. We got we to look at this. It was a three-man pass rush, right? Three-man pass rush. He just literally upped the A-gap free. That is so tough. Come on, baby! That's a 
dot! Fourth and 20? We convert that! Give me that! I know what I want. The only question is, will I have time for it? Four-man pass rush. There it is! No, there it's not! Yes! 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 We have done it! That was so close. I thought for a second Julius Peppers was going to get there. But even a 6'7 man is not tall enough. My heart is beating, boys. My heart is beating. I was down 24-0. And we just had a magnificent comeback. Oh my god. This is why you high pass everything, my friends. This is why you high pass everything. Because I saw him beat his man. Right? So he, he burned Carmichael. He's open. But then this motherfucker... Like, I, I read when I throw this that he's running out to the sideline. Like, you see that? Like, he's running out to the sideline. The way he broke on this pass... Like, I had already decided to throw here. You're going to see, like, right as I make the decision to throw, he comes back. Oh, my God, bro. That was a money game. Yeah, it was a money game, man.